Back in. I had visual on multiple insurgents south of LRP Butler on a rooftop. That might be the AQI headquarters we've been searching for. Roger that. I'll send in 3rd Squad to clear them out. 3rd Squad, Spartan 3. Iron Mountain Convoy is approximately 20 miles south from the LRP. Clear and hold the AQI headquarters. Top right side. Top right side. I took a hit. I took a hit. I took a hit. Where's that from? No idea. Maybe somewhere right to the right. Back up. I'm running up the wall. Yeah, that's yeah. the wall. Get some cover. Finally past you. Down the street up here. Moving up the street. Coming past. Okay. You good. Yeah, it's quiet again. I don't, I don't like it. We're coming. All right, I got an entry over here. I'll go and smoke in, just in case. Contact, top side. He's down. One deep front. Are you good? Everybody good? Yeah. Uh, I need to check wounds. Go ahead, check. I'm good, I'm good. Fudge. Right. So. Let's use this entry uh, on the right opening, side. Opening left, opening left. Roger. We got one right. Got a second story. It looks like we can go directly to the second floor. That's what we're doing. Whoa. You good? I'm moving. He's down. I'm taking hits. No eyes. Good grief. I gotta check. Checking myself. Oh man, I'm fucking bleeding bad, man. We gotta get to that second floor. He's down. Was Are not expecting a guy to be in that corner. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Not, Audible. Yeah. One oh, down. Shit, Deep. You alright? Yep. Got a closed door left. Stairs up right. Hey, yep. Yeah. Got the stairs. Reloading. Actually, should we secure the rest of this compound first? Well, they're gonna come up anyway, aren't they? It's pretty open. Flung left. Clear right. Might have to fight inside. I'm going fight. Let's go downstairs. We got an external staircase too. Out of uh. And back inside. Friendly, friendly, friendly. Roger. Is there a back in way? I watch the back way. Hey, are we all still up? We're all good. Top is good. If you're low, call it out. I'm moving down the stairs. I need help. Need help. Need help. Gotcha. You good? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Take over, um, 
Staircase duty with chopper then as well. Behind you. Behind you. Be open on the left side. Don't run me over. They are really quiet. Alright, let's move up to the red wall. Red wall. Alright, I'm bypassing wall, moving in. Hey, chopper push left. Ready? into the back in the lobby back where we came in contact that side yeah for has gone right swing it swing it moving out yeah, all right i need okay. you guys on me let's go i'm rushing right in we got an opening contact inside stand by Firing grenade on the train there. On you, on you. Moving. The blood is ending. Shit. One down inside. Raj on door. Moving. I'm in. I'm inside. You got staircase. One left, one left. Lost eyes on. Ford, where are you at? Ford, where are you at? Interior, right hand side. Okay, Roger, hold on. We're making entry in center building. Ford, where are you? Contact left. Hey, closed off on your right, short wall right. I'm hopping over behind you. Okay. Hey, I got a hallway on my right side. Someone can plug that. One down. You get a fresh mag in if you already have it. Got it. Ready? All right, let's move. All right, let's do this. Clear. This is our house now. Ah, I'm guessing that ain't the dinner bell. I'm hit, I'm hit. I'm hit, I'm hit. I'm hit, I'm hit. I'm hit, Take care of rear. Okay. Someone check care of that uh that staircase. Bad guys are pulling back. We're done in here, spawn three. Excuse all yours. So, six days in Fallujah. What's your first impression of the game? 
I think it's really good. It's got a dark, gritty, realistic feel to it. Um, one thing I really, really like is uh, they got in contact with veterans on um, both sides of the field, uh, American side and uh, guys on their back, asking them how they are. So I think it was a really good touch on their part. I've seen a lot of comparisons to Insurgency Sandstorm. You guys have spent a few hours with the game now, so what, what's your take on this comparison? So Insurgency Sandstorm, is way more arcadey and it is very fast paced with six days in fallujah you are forced to slow down actually check your corners check above you sometimes even checking below you it's a full 360 degree environment that you have to worry about and if imagine if you have a 360 degree horizontal axis now flip it on its side vertically and that's everything all the other directions you have to worry about as well it's very, very vertical as it is horizontal as far as threats. Whereas in Insurgency, you kind of just run around and what's in front of you is what you get. If you run down up the middle an alleyway, you're gonna die in six years of exclusive, guaranteed. The sound design really stands out for me, especially moving indoors. How does this compare to the experiences you guys had in actual firefights in similar urban areas? Really well, actually. When you're inside a building and you shoot a firearm, the sound is exponentially louder because it's bouncing off the walls. One left, one left. Last eyes on. And trying to talk to someone, even across a room, is that much harder. And the game does a very good job of realistically implementing the audio that you don't see in a lot of the other games. Because you see in, you know, uh, in the Marine Corps, when you deploy and you do CQB and you go into a shoothouse, how it sounds in the game is almost exactly how it sounds in real life. One down left. What's the general impression of the AI? They seem to be fairly unpredictable. I'm actually fairly impressed with the AI movement. Um, them being able to climb over walls, the same walls that you climb over, obstacles, flanking, they can vault, they shoot, and then they move. Um, they also utilize cover, adjust the cover if the cover's damaged. That's uh, that's really crazy because it makes it a 360 uh, degree environment. Um, you have to keep moving. If you don't keep moving, you will die. Sniper's neutralized! I've seen that the dust and smoke has been done really well. How does this affect gameplay though? So one example is we tried clearing a building and we threw a frag grenade into the room. When the frag went off, there was so much dust kicked up from the frag grenade that I felt like I was walking into a cloud of smoke from a smoke grenade. Uh, when we got hit with IDF indirect fire, um, when the mortar rounds impacted, there was a general sense of fog of war in which you had to wait for the dust to settle before you could clearly see across the battlefield. Get out of here, hey, we're gonna keep moving. Let's go. IDF, IDF, let's move. Motherfucker. <laughs> What interesting or new mechanics have you encountered during the recordings? So, when you approach a building, intuitively, when you're trying to peek the corner, you want to press like Q and E to lean. And one of the mechanics in the game that they implemented very well is your character will automatically start to slowly incline to that lean aspect without you in even having to press any buttons because in real life that's what you're, you would do you wouldn't wait till you get all the way up to the corner and then lean automatically you would kind of pie it off and your body would naturally start to lean um, i've also seen with the grenades you can either uh overhand throw or underhand throw which is very useful when you're trying to either get a grenade across a large space or even through a short space you can underhand throw it the suppression when you are receiving fire your character starts to have that hyperventilation he'll vision his vision will start to go in and out he'll start to really feel and and put upon you the player that i am getting shot at and these rounds are very close they have an interesting take on the medical system what's your thoughts on it so one thing about the medical system that i'm really impressed with is that you check your wounds um in combat you may feel like you might have gotten hit and you have to address the fact that adrenaline just hit you in that moment and you need to check if you have any holes in your body. Um, checking that, and sometimes it's clean and sometimes it's not, is something that's really different and I haven't seen before. Do you have any comments on the controversy surrounding the game? So I think that they handled the controversy surrounding the game very well. Um, 
as a military service member, I think it's important that the guys and, and girls have gone down range and they sacrifice the ultimate sacrifice and they don't make it back. I think it's important that we tell their story. And I think that there's a certain way to tell certain stories because you can only say in, in within so many words what happened. But when you simulate what happened and you're actually going through what those people went through to the best of the computer generation ability, you will then have a much higher and stronger appreciation for that ultimate sacrifice that these people gave, for the trials and tribulations that they went through. I think that the company did a very excellent job at keeping the respect for those that have gone on before us, as well as being able to say, hey, for the people who don't know what happened, this is what happened, and this is what they experienced. And I think at the end of the day, the respect is there, the family, the respect for the families are there, all around, I think it's actually a great tribute to those who actually did what was done overseas.